getting the total population vaccinated. Learning to, what, get boosted every six to right. eight months? If you get someone who's vaccinated and he wanes down and gets below a certain level, I don't know whether you can count that as a full protected person. Never really having control necessarily of COVID. We're going to vaccinate as many people as we can. We're going to get as many people boosted as we can. The fact that unquestionably, the people who got vaccinated six, seven, eight, nine, ten months ago, we're starting to see an understandable diminution in the level of immunity. It's called waning immunity. So now we know that although the vaccines are very effective, given the waning of immunity, right now boosters are going to be very important. That we're going to have to start living with COVID. What? I believe that's the case because I don't think we're going to eradicate it. The best way you can get to where you want to go is to just say, we're going to vaccinate as many people as we can. We're going to get as many people boosted as we can. Ah! If you get someone who's vaccinated and he wanes down and gets below a certain level. Dear God. I don't know whether you can count that as a full protected person getting the total population vaccinated, getting the total population vaccinated, getting the total population vaccinated, but also getting people boosted. We're going to vaccinate as many people as we can. We're going to get as many people boosted as we can. Getting the total population vaccinated. Never really having control necessarily of COVID. <laughs> Learning to what get boosted every six to right. eight months. Why isn't the CDC tracking breakthrough infections? When you do boost an individual, how long does that immunity last? Is there data being collected now in the United States about breakthrough infections yes. that the public doesn't know about? Yes, 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 yes. Is there data being collected now in the United States about breakthrough infections yes. that the public doesn't know about? Yes, yes, yes. You have an idea of what's happening with breakthrough infections? I don't have the data for you right now. That's obvious. We'll have to get the CDC to get us that. What? You want to surround the children with adults who are completely vaccinated. We need to do more surveillance. We need to do more testing. And whether we'll ever crack the mysterious case of COVID's origin. These were public health mistakes. <laughs> That's almost scarier. To be able to say, if I don't really want to do this because I want, you know, my own opinion of what's going to be with this state versus this state versus this state, to me, that's one of the antitheses of public health. It is transmitted spectacularly efficiently from person to person. Why is it so efficient? It is transmitted spectacularly efficiently. But we don't know what went between the bat and the human. There was something in between. <laughs> Yeah, it was very likely an, uh, a host. W w what the Chinese did. <laughs> they probably got rid of the animals that were the intermediary hosts there. Beijing acknowledges now that they don't think it originated in that market. Well, it may not have originated in the market, um, but it certainly could have. What? As soon as we get that sequence, let's plug it into mRNA. We we're already collaborating with Moderna with mRNA. What? That's incredible speed that yeah. you were already there. At the end of our conversation with Dr. Fauci, we asked him about whether there should be tougher global regulations put in place for labs that deal with highly contagious viruses. He brought up legislation sponsored by Republicans that would limit U.S. government support for gain-of-function research, in which experts modify viruses to better understand them. What? Gain-of-function research in which experts modify viruses. There has been speculation that a lab accident led to the spread of COVID. Anybody who spends lies and threatens and all that theater that goes on with some of the investigations and the congressional committees and the Rand Pauls and all that other nonsense, that's noise. There has been speculation that a lab accident led to the spread of COVID. That's noise. Gain of function research. Senator Cruz told the attorney general you should be prosecuted. <laughs> I have to laugh at that. That's not funny! <laughs> I should be prosecuted. What happened on January 6th, Senator? <laughs> so if they get up and criticize science, Nobody's going to know what they're talking about. What? But they're really criticizing science because I represent science. 
<laughs> That's dangerous. Gain of function research. Of these wet markets that bring in animals that are next to bats in caves in wherever, who knows, all in Southeast Asia and China. That animals that were not supposed to be brought in from the wild into the wet markets were there. And I think that's the reason why when this happened, I don't know, but I think why the Chinese just completely cleaned it out. I think that is one of the reasons why we're not able to find out what the original source was. I think they've destroyed some of the evidence. Gain of function research.